back to Joseph. Joseph in BC. Joseph, welcome. Hello. Hi, Joseph. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm in a battle. Yes. Okay. And uh, I, are you facing guilt because of sin? Um, yes, actually. It's almost destroyed me. Okay. And t tell me about it. Oh, um, well, nine years ago, um, you know, everything was fine. Nine years ago, I, I knew God loved me, and I loved the Lord back, and everything was fine. And uh, just a, an incident that I don't even dare talk about. Yeah. Um, we, don't, we don't need the details, no. But uh, anyways, uh, one specific incident, uh, it seems like spiritually something came and just took away my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Even though Jesus says, never will I leave you nor forsake you, mm -hmm. and uh, even though God is gracious and, mm -hmm. and loving, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I find it just so difficult to believe in that love. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I've been fighting for nine years to get my relationship back with yeah. God, and okay. it's just Obstacle after obstacle after yeah. obstacle. It, it seems to be endless. Well, you know, uh, one of the things is, is <laughs> as you read the Old Testament, you see obstacle after obstacle being placed in the paths of the Israelites. Yes. And, uh, and it was for one purpose. Remember, God is sovereign. Nothing, absolutely nothing can happen in your life unless it's allowed by God. If, if you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian, it really doesn't matter at all. Nothing can happen unless God allows it. Now, there's sometimes that when we sin, there's, there's consequences, not sometimes, there are always consequences to sin. Whatever you sow, Galatians 6 verse 7 says, you will reap. That's, a, that's an absolutely irrefutable law. It's unchangeable. It cannot be changed. Some of us, you know, uh, we, 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 what we sow, we're expecting a different harvest. It doesn't, it doesn't happen at all. Or because there's a time between the sowing and the harvest, you know, because the time usually is a long time, by God's grace, by the way, we, we forget it. And then, you know, something comes, we say we are suffering bad luck. Uh-uh. What we have to have sown, that's what we're reaping now. But God, what, why does God put the obstacles in a way? Because He wants to stop us. He wants to get our attention. But sometimes we, 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 we chalk it up to something else, you know, bad luck or whatever. But may I say, Joseph, and your name, <laughs> your name is significant, is a very significant name in the Bible. A person who went through real hard struggles, but kept his faith in God, kept his faith in God. Many, many struggles, you know, he was one of the 12 sons of, uh, of, uh, of Jacob. Many, many struggles he went through, but kept his faith in God. Let me ask you this. You know, maybe you were once a Christian. You would give your life to the Lord. Uh, I gave my life to the Lord. Okay. Now, what is your relationship like with God right now? Oh, uh, beggarly. I would describe it as beggarly. Right. Well, may maybe, it's, maybe this morning God is saying, why don't you come back to me? The Bible says, come back to your first love. It may, the Bible is saying, through a television program, and that God works in mysterious ways, just to say, come back and we let, let us rebuild that relationship once more. That's where it begins. You always go back to where you began and say, how Lord, do I do okay. that? Well, well, how about it? We can pray a prayer, first of all, and just rebuild your relationship. Make a recommitment, much like in a marriage oftentimes, you know, after years have passed, we recommit ourselves to each other. That's what, we're recommitting yourself this morning to God. How about it? Yes. Well, let me lead you in a prayer. You know, the Bible says there, there's all kinds of stuff that come into our lives to, to prevent us and to, 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 to muddy the waters in our lives. But God wants to clear it away, clear all of that away, and make, make a new relationship, make your relationship new once more. So but before we, we pray, I yes. have one question in yes. regards to what you said earlier. Yes. 
as far as reaping and sowing. Yes. Um, I would like to, to use the example of David. Yes. Who, as you well know, sent Bathsheba's husband to get murdered so he can have her. Yes. Now, he was restored yes. to God. Yes. And, and if you look at his life after the fact, because God said, this is a man after my own heart, yes. after he did all of that. Yes. So, um, he, he certainly didn't reap what he sowed, did he? Of course he did. Oh, yes. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh oh, the, uh, oh, geez. That's a good question. That's a good question. Let me tell you, his life was a mess. You remember his own son, he had to run away barefoot from, from his throne in Jerusalem, run away. His own son was murdered. There was, there was, there was adult, there was, there was um, fornication within one of his own son, rape his own, rape, rape, another, rape his own sister, a half sister, all right? Oh, oh geez, there was tons, there's tons, he never got away with it. Uh, you remember God did say, oh no, that, that uh, there was also no peace in his home after that at all. No. You see oh. what happens, it, and, and I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought it up, because you see, sometimes what seems, if you read the life of David, oh no, he suffered. Oh, he suffered. His family was a mess. You know, I mean, all his, listen, his wives, you remember his wives, that are his concubines that were left? I mean, they, uh, 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 I mean, his own, his own son slept with all of them. Step yeah. with all of them. Yeah. What I'm saying is that no, there, there's stuff that happens. Sin brings a penalty called death, called death. But God, what God has allowed really is for you the mercy and grace. You see, once you're a son, once you accepted Christ, you are a son forever. But you can be a son without, a, a re, without getting the benefits of son, like the prodigal son who came back. You see, the thing between there's some. There's some in the pig pen, the pigs, right? The prodigal son was in the, with the pigs and the pigs were there. But however, they're both in the mud. However, how do you tell the pigs from the prodigal? In other words, the pig want to remain in the mud, all right? However, the prodigal son didn't like it in the mud. And that's why he said, I will get out. I will get out and go back to my father. And some, there's somebody watching. You're in the pig pen and you're, you don't like it there. You're in the mud. You don't like it there. Why? Because God has designed you. You want new Christ as Lord and God wants you to come back to him. So that's why you don't like it there. You, in other words, you're not a pig. No, you're a child of the king. You need to come back home. But let me pray. Let me lead you in a prayer. Uh, and uh, Joseph, and, and, and re restore a, a prayer of restoration of your life back to God, to come back to your first love. Are you ready? Yes, sir. De Dear Lord Jesus. Yes. De no, just pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I come to you. I come to you. I ask you, Lord. I ask you, Lord. That you restore my life. That you restore my life. And forgive me. And forgive me. Of my sin. Of my sin. I repent. I repent. And I ask you. And I ask to wash me in the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash me in the blood of Jesus Christ. And make me, and make me enjoy the pres your presence once more. And make me to enjoy your presence once more. I thank you for salvation. I thank you for salvation. And I thank you for repentance. And I thank you for repentance. I now, I now turn my life back to you. Turn my life back to as you. best as I know how. As best as I know how. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, O oh God. You are God. You are great and wonderful, Lord. And we just, O oh God, bring Joseph to you, Lord, again, and ask, Lord, that as he have recommitted his heart and life to you, Lord, O oh God, he doesn't like it in the pig pen, Lord. And like the prodigal has come both, turn his, his attention and, Lord, start his way back to you which culminated in this prayer this morning. And you said, no one will come to you and will ever be disappointed or ashamed. Father God, I pray that you will help him, Father God, to, 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 to go to a church, Lord, to find a body of believers that will come around him and help him, Father God, in his walk with you. And we thank you and we give you praise for Christ's sake. Amen. Now, you need to get back to reading your Bible. Yes reading about every day, 
every, it's called soul food. And one, a Bible-believing church where you can have fellowship with men who will walk with you. It's not, the life was not made to walk in, lonely, in loneliness, but it was made to walk together. Yeah, and next, pray every day. Pray every day. Now, if you, uh, if you just hold the line, somebody will get your name and we'll keep in touch with you and so forth. Just hold the line for me. Thank you.